Okay, welcome back to the eighth episode. Um, yeah, we should uh, be taking this. Okay. Uh, that was. Uh, but it will work. Uh, how to do this? Turn them around a bit. Don't keep that. Uh, this will work. Uh, if I now take this one, I do not know if this will work, but we can try. If not, uh, if not, uh, so be it. I take this one here. Uh, take this one. Yeah, we can go up and see. Maybe it works, maybe it don't. And then I have to do the same over there. Uh, it shouldn't be a big problem, but uh, we will find out how it will work. The biggest problem will be if it will crash with this. I'm still sending in a ton of screws. Like so. I don't know uh, if this will be so, but uh, for now, this is good. Um, the next we need is uh, what is needed. If we start with plates, this will need. Uh, yeah, print force plates. Really. This one needs regular plates and screws. Print force and rods. Rods and screws. Oh my. Yeah, we will start with this one. So, what we will do is uh, not put you there, but um, uh, if I do. I do put it over here. Uh, 
I need a tower. I have a tower. And I have a kit that is does not to sleep. Very good. Very nice. Like so. And if I now put a lock of tower over there, just so uh, I can see how this works. But first I need to... Was this the large one or was this the small one? This was the large one. I placed the right one. Uh, Now if I put you side there, and you there, and you there, and this will work. It looks a bit wonky, but uh, it will still work. So. But this is also very overkill. I don't know how I'm going to use up all these reinforced plates. I don't even know if I have resources to feed all these. Uh, but uh, yeah, since I know I have no more than uh, these, I can. Uh, come on, I can start with it. So let's see how this works. How many uh, screws? Like so. That will uh, cut it close, but it will work. As far as I can see, it does not touch. So that's good. Like so. Now we need to shortcut the power. Actually, this was one. Uh, this one for this. Yeah. This one for this. This one for this one. Something like that. Then we will take this one and put uh, something like that. And 
Yeah, I removed one of the uh, uh, biofuel uh, generators. It uh, looks to be all right for now. No. No, 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 no. That was bad. That was very bad. 98. Yeah. So, um, as you can see, my uh, factory has stopped up because I have no more power. This one has no more view of you. Now, what I can do, I can do fifty. This uh, I don't really want to use the, use them for this, so I will remove these uh, once I have uh, have uh, built some more windmill. This is just so that I'm sure I have enough power. As you can see, I am up to 206 megawatts sometimes. 210 and to be able to do this properly I need uh, I think it is this one then I get uh, the better windmill they are getting progressively more expensive but I uh, I really need them because um, I don't really know why I need Milestone them. Reach. Oh, to be honest. Been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are tanks, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Quicksilver is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Uh, I will not be using this. I will just uh, see what they are. Have some sink. Now this looks uh, interesting. So there's where my walls are. I have been looking for these all over the place. So, the big question is, should I remove this bloody mod? Because I really need these uh, to, to uh, make the walls properly uh, line up with the uh, conveyor lift. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Coffee here. Now, this could be cool to have. Uh, but I will not, as I said, use this. Uh, if I am to be using it, it must be to get these. 
and uh, I don't see why I'm going to waste resources to get these when uh, they are supposed to be in game already. So uh, after this episode, I will uh, try find out which mod this is, remove it, and uh, see if the walls are as they are supposed to be. But first, first, first thing first, we need power. We can survive without it. I just wonder how it will be down there when I'm starting to pull these windmills down. I guess they will not be lining up as they should be. This one is clear. Nice. One is clear. How far can I go before it stops? This one is also clear. This one might be not clear. Yeah, this will not work. This will work. So, what I need to do now is um, That's going to be a pain. How far must I go? I don't really remember what this sand hole is for, but uh, it is most likely needed for something. It's also not uh, usable for research. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. You for you, and you up there, you there, you there. Therefore, I can't have you there. Neither can I have you there. So, now I need to go back and see uh, if um, this upgrade worked, so I can have back my power shards. Let 
one point in time I will be lucky to be able to remove this. Hopefully the other one is uh, not too much larger. Two hundred and fifty, yeah. Thank you. Come again. <sighs> nice. Okay, with this, uh, I hope you like it. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe. It uh, helps me out a lot. Uh, I also hope you have a nice day and uh, that you come and watch me play more. Uh, yeah, so bye bye. Have a nice one.